Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a little bit of a look into the new snapshot 20W10A and that includes, uh, you know, we can use the smithing table now. This beautiful block right here is now usable and it, uh, it allows you to upgrade your tools but it's actually really nice, uh, which I will show you in a quick second. But there's also some other stuff. So, uh, you know, we got some just kind of like random stuff that I don't really want to show off today. But we have new blocks. You can see that we can make crimson hyphae, which is basically, uh, and warped hyphae. And it's basically logs, but with all sides on it for the crimson and warped stems so that that's cool but of course the thing that I'm sure you guys were all here to see is the smithing table so let's take a look at this if you right click we have this we have two slots for upgrading we put our netherite in there you see not nothing's coming out then let's just say dank magician netherite sword with all of the same enchantments. I'm going to double check. Yeah, that's the exact same sword. So let's, let's grab that and then boom. We have a netherite sword with the exact same enchantments that my old sword had. And we can do this for all of it. I think you can do multiple at one time, but I like just doing one because it, I don't know, it's more satisfying. So, you know, diamond pickaxe goes to netherite pickaxe. Then silky goes to silky <laughs> so there's that then we have all of my armor which I'm not gonna do yet because I want to do a fall test with it just real quick then we have all of this stuff which we'll see if I upgrade it or not but yeah we <laughs> we can now upgrade all of my gear which is epic but first we're gonna do a fall test I'm gonna grab a totem of undying and I'm going to jump off the top of the tower to see just you know what happens if I if any damage is taken or anything like that all right so we're gonna jump off right here all the way straight down no damage all right so this is basically my what I I have now come to know as my glitch set of armor I don't know if it is a glitch or not but basically I don't take any damage from fall damage or lava so you saw that in action right now but let's upgrade all of that and see if upgrading it changes that and also you can't do it in that direction you know as always with things but look at this we now have full enchanted netherite armor and boy do i look cool this is <laughs> this is some pretty crazy stuff so i want to do it like as soon as possible because i know that in the next snapshot they'll probably balance this a bit more to where you know the enchantments maybe not as a uh, whatever or maybe they balanced it just in the fact that it doesn't repair it but mending kind of makes that pointless because it'll repair on its own so yeah let's jump off and see if my glitched armor is still all right it's still good I'll double check in the nether just to see if fire is a fire is a problem or not. Actually, why do I even need to go to the nether? I can just light a block on fire here in the overworld. Grab a flint and steel. Yep. Nope. My armor is still perfect and nice and glitched. And also, that's kind of a weird, uh, it just mirrors the fire texture kind of me messed up. I don't know if that's because I have a texture pack or something. Yeah, that, that's kind of that's kind of strange. I'll upgrade that axe right there just because that one has mending. And did I get how much? Okay, so you do get some durability. Well, I guess that's just because it's a uh, the thing of the durability in general is going up. But yeah, so we have what well, I basically could get full netherite tools, but we have full netherite armor all enchanted and all of this stuff also enchanted and all of this, but this isn't netherite yet so yeah um we're kind of op now like even more so than before because netherite armor i wouldn't take any i would take no uh knockback with it it's more protective and my sword is now more powerful so we have officially become like the strongest because i already was before but now it's even more so a hey, zombie hi look at that i took three hits and i took half a heart <laughs> and I'm taking no knockback. Let's see how many hits. That's one hit. Two hit. Okay. So, 
Yeah, we're we're pretty OP. Like, you know, just a little bit. But this is good. Like, this is wonderful. Skeleton battles are so much more easy because I take no knockback. That's great. And also, something that I haven't shown you guys is over here, we have this. I don't know if I've shown you guys this. Yeah, no, I haven't shown you guys. <laughs> There's a nice little spider spawner right there. So, you know. But something that I did not show off in the last video was the target block. So I'm, I'm going to do that real quick. Oh, you want to go skeleton? Just try me. He will not be able to defeat me. I am too powerful. Yeah, it's really nice to have full nether right now. It's just like, ah, oh, yes. Unlimited power. Okay, so something that I didn't show off last time was the target block. Which is basically, you just get four redstone dust, one hay bale, and you put it and get a target, and then we'll just place that down like right there. See, beautiful target block. Let's just place down lots of redstone. Then I'm just gonna put a piston right here at the very end. And then we're gonna shoot this boy to see, one, just how horribly I fail at shooting it. And then two, all right. So the goal, all right, so that didn't go all the way up so as you can see I'm slowly getting closer to the middle and once I hit middle it goes all the way but I guess maybe this was a little bit too far so I'll just place that there so yeah let me let me try and get myself to push to push up which I think this block will be really cool for maps like that so if you do that properly you could make a little contraption where it puts them into the next area and then you know stuff so there's that then also the final little tidbit of information has to do with your wonderful friend the diamond hoe or really just the hoe in general so the diamond hoe can actually be used for a lot more now so I'm actually going to make a fresh one because you can enchant it with a lot more than just unbreaking you can now get fortune efficiency and other stuff because they they break things. You can break the nether wart blocks with these. Then if we put this in there, you can see, all right, I'm breaking efficiency. So that's something you can get. And we got, okay. You know what? No, I don't like you. No, I'm not doing this today. Okay, let's try this again. All right, please have something more than I'm breaking. I'm gonna try this one more time. You better not, you better not do the same thing. Or I will get very, very just sad. Thank you, thank you, okay. So there, we have efficiency four, silk touch, and I'm breaking three. There we go. That is something that I find, let me thank you. Okay, then we can grab this really fast. Look at how fast we can pick all this stuff up because the hoe can now break these. And this was this was in a snapshot earlier. So this isn't like a completely new feature, I guess, but the fact that diamond hoes are actually useful now is, uh, you know, it's pretty epic. So you can get silk touch, you can get fortune. I don't really know what you'll be using the fortune for necessarily. I haven't done all of my research on what the uh what it'll be used for but things it is used for nonetheless and that is pretty epic so you know if you want to grab up some warp blocks or some nether warp blocks you can get them much easier now than before because yeah it's fast it's not slow but yeah that is basically uh pretty much everything that has come with this snapshot if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!